still alive. Sister sends this Koga. Release her. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Koga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. I've heard enough. The devil remains until the rite is complete. The snake hisses, its intentions unclear. How sin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Yes. She is more valuable out there than in here. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me! <laughs> out, thief. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen will- Halsen isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. <sighs> Quite a lot if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. This will all be over. The ritual's almost finished. What if they tried to steal from us? You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gainsay. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Would you? I would give anything to see Halcyn return home. 
Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild? A riddle to some, but you understand the meaning immediately. The druids turn to the harpers for help. Unusual for such a territorial group. The towers seized, the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. You recognize the mark of the dark goddess Shar on the broken helmet. This army marched in her name. So many dead. Sent to the Night Singer's embrace. Moonrise must be a reference to Shar's divine sister, Saluna. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone. But I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. Ridiculous. We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Temple of Shah. That's Where? what matters. What's this about a curse? communal use it seems best show some respect or some more cunning Please leave. Our hospitality has limits.
claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, Sylvanas, god of nature. day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? Indeed. But you do exhibit a talent for self-preservation. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Wonder if the gods are watching me. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Swift as my feet can carry me. This call is careful. If not over, then through. Can't risk being in open view. Keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Should mind my step.
out of sight, out of mind. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Best get in and out. Softer than a whisper. Free for the taking.
for me. The thief's been emptying pockets around here. You might want to allay some suspicions before things get out of hand. Try your best, but your best just isn't good enough. Things are about to turn ugly. One day I'll catch a break. They did a number on you, didn't they? Does that hurt? I know. We're near Light on my feet. I can't even see a lock to pick.
just hold still. I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. Good enough to tell there's nothing obviously wrong with you. A bit tired, maybe. But we're all a bit tired. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. Something in that vessel. Take a closer look. Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Give Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'm interested in the procedure, actually. Please, go ahead. All right. Let's see what we can do. It might. But first things first, tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I hope it doesn't come to that, but... Thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. 
For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why the... Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. Better than becoming a mind flayer. Keep it, in case things start to go very wrong. Schools for careful footwork. Open up. Ahead. Let's see what you're hiding. in here.
Looks like Halcyn's our best bet for a cure. Time to track him down and see what he knows. Assuming he's still alive. Speculation will get us nowhere. Let's go find him. That might be worth a look. Just out of view. Can't risk being in open view. Thief's been picking pockets near here. This would be a good moment to explain yourself.
You may have talked your way out of this one, but there will be no repeat performance. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. I'll give it a shot. Have to keep going. It's broken, but not too badly. the druid's notebook mentioned. Its owner thought it was cursed.
I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone. But I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything. Not for communal use. Best keep your hand. Best keep your. Best keep. 
keep you. I asked you to leave. Stay. What's next, I wonder? What now? Ready and willing. I've got a long road ahead. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Can't risk being in open view. No rest for the wicked, I see. My pleasure. Not this again. Violent behavior is proving unpopular. Tread carefully, or things may get out of hand. Usually, this is the point where the guard leaves you alone. forest rose with claw and tooth to tear the darkness from its roots. The mural depicts druid and beast fighting together to drive monsters from their land. It looks like they were victorious, and yet the monsters have returned. run off a devil child one who tried to steal from us let's get on with it ripe with magic. At least things have stayed interesting. What if they tried to Don't us? touch me. The game. Here we go. By letting that child escape without consequence, we might as well have laid on the ground. <laughs>
Thulf's fur bristles. He wants to jump, wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. The wolf bears his teeth. He doesn't take orders from you. He'll chase you down if not for his master. Schools for careful footwork. Have the right to defend our home. Never wanted the easy path. Tempers are rising. Out of sight, out of mind. Ridiculous. We just let her run off. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. here. I sent you to Zevlor. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and th thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. So...
I don't need any attention right now. Can't risk being in open view. Don't want to draw any attention. That's a friendly looking shadow. If not over, then through. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Softer than a whisper. Breathe quiet, move with care. All right, time to skulk about. Better be cautious. I asked you to leave. What will the tieflings want next? Don't waste a step. Mm. This will all be over. The rich... Some rests better than none. <laughs> my attention. What now? A long way to go still. Magic touch. Careful, I bite. Does this count as adventuring? Yeah. 
Time has come. Remove the outsiders! The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. It searches for news of Master Hulsen. Only he can set this right. If he is gone, well, pray that he is not. I would prefer not to, but if Master Hulsen does not return, Korga will give the order, and my voice will not matter. Sylvanas, the Forest Father, we are granted balance.
so. We're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> Squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. You follow the squirrel's gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet. Your own, on her territory. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove to another. She studies you for a moment before twitching her ears. Compromise. After a final squeak of warning, Break the rules and there will be trouble. She scurries away. you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but... she kept gasping. Clawing at the arrow. I had the same thought. And it's just going to keep happening. Goblin, I'm closing this gate, whether you're inside or not. So, 
Do you have loves waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. You mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short-term amusements are... this without a shovel. You're both twice as tall as me, but I'm off the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese! Now move it! You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. There's something underneath here.
Too much to bear. everything.
Slow down. Another broken trap. Who made these things? You think it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. One of them carved up Zora's whole squad. So let's leave it. And let the goblins have it? No. We take it to the grove. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Holy hells. Under elf. Play time, I miss her. Demaze. Come. I miss her. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. Observe and listen. You'll hear goblins before you see them. As you say. Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. Release me, or enjoy a future as Geich. Mind flayers. The atrocities we are becoming. I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it.
tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. A pity, that. I made an offer and you accepted. Your fantasy is not my burden. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Not if you'll get me killed. You! Not another step, hear me? Boss! Got company up here! What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Well, uh, in that case... Come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. A sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. I can see the stars from Baldur's Gate, of course, but not with such clarity. It got me thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might be. When we find the druid, will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will the Little adventure of ours be over. Ha! 
Why not? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Yes, we're more similar than I thought. Hmm? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. Don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. I see naught but cowards cowering in their groves and grottos. Flowering meadows and fecund soil have softened their minds and muscles. They rely on strangers' swords when they should be forging their own. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Kalea. Do you think me so sheltered? My entire clutch battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. We infiltrated a Niyogi spell jammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toril's sky, Venisk. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Zathis purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. I expect I am your first. Chuk. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Decadent, then. Lacking in economy. Like so much of this world and its undisciplined people. 
I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. That shiver betrays your fear. Suppress it. It is useless. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? It's natural to suffer a touch of worry, but an illithid worm should be causing more than mild anxiety. Before the illithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. <laughs> I speak out of curiosity, not wishful thinking. At least I'll know to skip supper if you're doing the cooking. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Spy with my little eye. Yeah, nothing of note, really. 